Peter and welcome to my channel. Today we will work on this table runner. Uh, this runner measures uh, 14 by 32 inches, which is 35 by 82 centimeters. And for this project I will use crochet thread number 10 uh, in purple and white color and crochet hook 1.5 millimeters. Uh, for this uh, project we will work on two big motifs and then 12 small motifs. So, hope you like this project and uh, if you're first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss any of my next tutorials. So, enough words and let's get started. Okay, so we'll start with our big motif and we'll start with a purple color. So make a slip knot and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. Okay. I will chain four, three, four. This counts as our first double crochet and chain one space. And into the ring we will work eight double crochets and chain one between. So that's one, chain one, two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, Five chain one, six chain one, seven chain one, and eight chain one. So with this first chain three, we have two, four, six, eight, nine double crochets and 9 chain 1 spaces between. Slip stitch into the 3rd chain. You can cut this tail off. And now we will chain 2 this doesn't count as a stitch and into the same chain that we slip stitched in we will work two double crochets one and two double crochet into the chain one space into the next double crochet two double crochets two. and we will repeat this around so in each chain one space we will work one double crochet and into the each double crochet of the previous round we will work two double crochets. So one double crochet, then in next double crochet a double crochet increase, so two double crochets. Then one, two double crochets, one into the chain one space, into the next double crochet. One double crochet into the chain one space and we will slip stitch into the first double crochet of this round. Now we will chain five, three, four, five. This is first double crochet and chain two space and into the same stitch that we slip stitched in we will work one more double crochet. So we created our first V stitch. Chain two, one and two. Now we'll skip two double crochets into the third. We'll work V stitch. So double crochet, chain two, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. Chain two. Skip 
two double crochets into the third we'll work a V-stitch. Chain two. And we will repeat this around. So skip two double crochets into the third, work a V-stitch. Chain two, skip two into the third V stitch. Oh, our last V stitch. Chain two, and we will slip stitch into the third chain. Now we'll slip stitch into the chain 2 space and we'll start with a chain 3 as our first double crochet then two more double crochets into the same space chain 2 and three double crochets into the same chain 2 space chain 4 one, two, three, four. Into the next V stitch, so skip this chain two, into the next V stitch, you'll work three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and three more double crochets into the same chain two space. chain 4 so basically what we are creating is these shells and for this uh, tutorial a shell will be 3 double crochets, chain 2 and 3 double crochets so into the next V stitch we will work a shell as I said shell is 3 double crochets chain 2 and 3 more double crochets into the same chain 2 space chain 4 into the next stitch a shell and we will repeat this around we will finish this round with a slip stitch into the third chain Now we will slip stitch into the next chain 2 space, so slip stitch into the next two double crochets, so 1 and 2, and into the chain 2 space. We will work with, on our beginning shell with a chain 3 as a first crochet, then two double crochets into the same chain 2 space chain 2 and 3 more double crochets into the same chain 2 space 2 and 3 uh, chain 2 single crochet into the next chain 4 space chain 2 and a shell in the next shell so into the next chain 2 space We'll work three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets into the same space. Chain two. So we have a shell in a shell, then chain two, single crochet into the chain four space, chain two, and shell in a shell chain 2, single crochet into the next chain 4 space, chain 2 and shell in the next shell.
crescendo single crescendo the next chain for space chain 2 and again shell in the next shell and re repeat this pattern around slip stitch into the third chain chain 1 and we can cut our thread We are done with our purple color. We will take out our white and we will attach it in one of our shells. So it doesn't matter in which one, just attach it. Okay, I'll start with this. So we have our thread. Now we'll pull our thread through our shell, chain one and single crochet into the same space. Like that. So we secured our thread. Okay. Now we'll chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Single crochet into the next shell. So into the next shell we'll work a single crochet, chain nine, one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and again single crochet into the next shell. Chain nine, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Single crochet into the next shell. We will repeat this around. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Single crochet into the next shell chain 9 again, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, single crochet into the next shell, Oops. chain 9, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, single crochet into the next shell, chain 9, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, single crochet into the next shell, chain 9, single crochet into the our last shell, chain 9, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine and we will slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made almost hmm. like that. okay So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chain nine spaces in this round. Okay. Now we'll chain two. And this chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch. We will work a double crochet into the same space and then into the next chain 9 space we will work 15 double crochets. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and one more, fifteen. Double crochet into the next single crochet and again into the next chain line space you'll work 15 double crochets five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, that's thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. One double crochet into the next single crochet, and we'll repeat this pattern around. So, into the next chain nine space, we'll work. 15 double crochets, then one double crochet into the next single crochet, and again 15 double crochets, double crochet into the next single crochet, and so on. We will end this round with this 15 double crochets and then slip stitch into the third chain, uh, into the, our first double crochet that we made. We will start with our next round, so we'll chain 5, 3, 4, 5. This counts as a first double crochet and chain 2 space. Now we'll skip 1, 2 double crochets of the previous round and into the third we'll work a double crochet. Chain 2, skip 2 double crochets into the third we'll work. Double crochet. Chain 2, skip two double crochets and into the third double crochet and we will repeat this around so chain two skip two and into the third double crochet of the previous round we will work a double crochet chain two skip two stitches into the third double crochet Finish this round with a chain 2 and slip stitch into the third chain. Okay. For the round 9, we will slip stitch across this chain 2 space. So slip stitch into the next two chains, one and slip stitch into the next two, into the next double crochet and into the next chain 2 space. Okay. We will start with our beginning shell, so chain 3, 2 double crochets into the same chain 2 space, chain 2, and 3 more double crochets into the same space. chain 2, we will skip the next chain 2 space and into the next we will work a shell. So three, 3 double crochets, chain 2 and 3 more double crochets into the same space. chain 2, skip 1, space into the next a shell. Chain 
chain two and repeat this around so skip one space into the next work a shell finish this round with a shell then chain two and slip stitch into the third chain round 10 we'll slip stitch in next two double crochets and into the chain 2 space we'll work on our beginning shell with a chain 3 two double crochets chain 2 and 3 more double crochets into the same chain 2 space chain 3 and a shell in the next shell so 3 double crochets chain 2 and 3 more double crochets into the same space chain 3 and we will repeat this pattern around so we will work a shell in each shell around and chain 3 between these shells chain 3 and again shell in the next shell finish this round with a shell in a shell then chain 3 and slip stitch into the third chain round 11 slip stitch into the next two double crochets and into the chain 2 space we will work on our beginning shell with a chain 3 2 double crochets then chain 2 and 3 more double crochets into the same chain 2 space now we will chain 4 2, 3 and 4 and we will work a shell in our next shell chain four three four shell in the next shell and we'll repeat this pattern around so we will work a shell in each shell and chain 4 between these shells finish this round with a shell in a shell and then chain 4 and slip stitch into the third chain we have finished round 11 so uh, what we'll do in the round 12, 13 and 14 so the next three rounds are worked at the same uh, the same way so for the next three rounds slip stitch into the next two double crochets into the chain two space and work on our beginning shell with a chain 3, 2 double crochets, then chain 2 and 3 more double crochets into the same space now chain 5 2, 3, 4, 5 shell in the next shell
chain 5, 3, 4, 5 and again shell in the next shell. So a shell is 3 double crochets then chain 2 and 3 more double crochets into the same space. Chain 5. 3, 4, 5. So repeat this for the next 3 rounds and each round end with a shell in a shell, chain 5 and slip stitch into the 3rd chain. And then you start the next round with a slip stitch into the next double crochets into the chain 2 space, beginning shell, chain 5, shell in a shell, chain 5, shell in a shell. So repeat this for the next three rounds and I will meet you at the end of the um, I will meet you at the start of the round number 15 which will be the last round of our white color. Okay. So we made our three rounds with a chain 5 between these shells and now we'll start with our last round with white color, so slip stitch into the next two double crochets and into the chain 2 space. We will chain 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. This counts as our first treble crochet and chain 1 space. Into the same chain 2 space that we slip stitched in, we will work 8 more treble crochets and chain 1 space between them. So that's 1, chain 1, 2, chain 1, 3, chain 1, 4, chain 1, 5, chain 1, 6, chain 1, 7, chain 1 and 8. So, with this first chain 4, as our first treble crochet, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 treble crochets and chain 1 between them. Now, we'll chain 1, single crochet into the chain 5 space chain 1 and into the next shell, so into the chain 2 space, we will work 9 treble crochets with a chain 1 between. So that's first chain 1, that's 2, chain 1, 3, chain 1, Four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, then seven, chain one, eight, chain one, and the last one, number. 9 and chain 1. Single crochet into the next chain 5 space. Chain 1 and we will repeat this pattern around. So into the next shell we will work 9 treble crochets with chain 1 between then we will chain 1 single crochet into the next chain 5 space chain 1 and again 9 treble crochets with chain 1 between into the next shell and so on. We have our chain 1 
and slip stitch into the fourth chain. Now we can chain one and cut our thread. Fasten off and we are done with this white color. Okay. So we'll pick up our purple color again. And we will put a nice border around this uh, our doily or center piece. We will attach uh, this purple color into one of the chain one spaces. So we will pull the yarn through chain one and single crochet into the same space that we attached our thread in. And then we'll chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet into the next space. Chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet into the next space. chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space. So, we will single crochet in each chain one space and chain one between. Chain one, single crochet into the next space, chain one. Here we have our chain one space and then single crochet. We will single crochet in this chain one space between the treble crochet and single crochet and then we'll single crochet into the next chain one space. So the only time that we don't chain one between these uh, single crochets is when we are uh, here at this uh, chain one space between the treble crochet and single crochet and then we go into the next uh, ch chain one space. Here we don't uh, chain one between the single crochets and then again chain one single crochet into the next space chain one single crochet into the next space chain one single crochet chain one single crochet chain one single crochet chain one single crochet chain one again single crochet into the next space chain one single crochet into the next space chain one and here we have our chain one space then single crochet and chain one space and we will work single crochet into the first space and then single crochet into the next space so single crochet into the first and single crochet into the next space then we will chain one again and work as we did before so single crochet in each chain one space and chain one between. Again, we are at this chain one space and then single crochet, chain one space and then treble crochet. We will work a single crochet into the first chain one space and then single crochet into the next space. Chain one and single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one. So we will repeat this pattern around. single crochet into the next chain one space and single crochet into the next space chain one and we will slip stitch into the first 
single crochet that we made. Chain one, we can cut our thread and fasten off. So now just hide these tails and we are done with this big motif. So now what I would like to you to do is go to the start of this video and make one more same motif. So we will have two the same motifs and then I will show you how to make a small motif and how to join these motifs together. So we will start the small motif the same way as we did our big one with a slip knot, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. Now we will chain 4, that's 3 and 4, and it counts as our first double crochet and chain 1 space. And into the ring we will work 8 double crochets with a chain 1 between. So in total we will have 9 double crochets and 9 chain 1 spaces. That's 2, 4, 5, 6, chain 1, 7, chain 1, 8, chain 1, and 9, chain 1. Slip stitch into the third chain. We can cut our tail off. Okay. We'll start round two. Chain two and into the same space that we slip stitched in into the same chain you'll work two double crochets. One, two. Double crochet into the chain one space. Then into the next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. One double crochet into the chain one space. Then into the next double crochet, again two double crochets. And we will repeat this around. So in each stitch we will work two double crochets and in each chain one space one double crochet. And it is round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we made. So slip stitch into the first double crochet. Start round three, chain two, and into the same stitch we will work one double crochet. Into the next two double crochets of the previous round we will work two double crochets. So two into the first double crochet and then two double crochets in the next double crochet into the next stitch we'll work one double crochet and then again in each of the next two we'll work two double crochets and we'll repeat this round so into the next one double crochet repeat this around so we will work into the next two, two double crochets in each. So two double crochets, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, two double crochets, one double crochet, and repeat this around. So 
So we have two stitches remaining and in each one of them we work two double crochets. First and two double crochets into the next stitch. To finish this round, slip stitch into the first double crochet that we made. Chain one and we can cut our thread. Okay, we are done with this purple part. Now we will change to our white color. Okay. We will attach this white thread in one of the double crochets, it doesn't matter in which one. Pull the yarn through. Chain one, single crochet into the same stitch. Now we'll chain uh, four, three and four, and we'll work a double crochet into the same stitch that we attached yarn in. So what we did, we attached our thread, then we uh, work a single crochet, and single crochet and chain two counts as our first double crochet and then chain 2 for the chain 2 space. So we created a V-stitch. Now we'll chain 3. We'll skip the next 1, 2, 3, 4 stitches and into the 5th one we'll work a V-stitch. So double crochet, chain 2 and one more double crochet into the same stitch. Chain 3 and again skip four stitches of the previous round, so one, two, three, four, into the fifth one we will work a V-stitch. Chain three and repeat this around. Chain three and we will slip stitch into the second chain. So we have single crochet, then one, two into the second chain, we we'll work a slip stitch. Okay. We'll start the next round, slip stitch into the chain two space, and now we will work on our beginning shell. So chain three for the first double crochet and then two double crochets into the same space chain 2 and 3 more double crochets into the same chain 2 space. Now we'll chain 2 and into the next V-stitch we'll work a shell. So 3 double crochets, chain 2 and three more double crochets into the same space. Chain two and again into the next V stitch we'll work a shell. We'll repeat this pattern around. We'll end this round with a shell in the last V stitch, chain two and slip stitch into the third chain. Okay. We'll start our last round with a white color, slip stitch into the next two double crochets and into the chain two space. Now we will chain five, three, four, five. This counts as a first treble crochet and chain one space. And into the same chain two space we will work eight more treble crochets with a chain one between. So in total we will have nine treble crochets with chain one between them. So that's two, four, five, six, chain one, seven, Chain one, 
8 so 2, 4, 6, 8 chain 1 and the last one 9 travel crochets with chain 1 between chain 1 into the next chain 2 space you will work double crochet so double crochet into the next chain 2 space then we'll chain 1 and again into this shell into the chain 2 space we'll work 9 treble crochets with chain 1 between it's 1 2 chain 1 3 chain 1 4 chain 1 5 chain 1 6 chain 1 7 chain 1 8 so 2 4 6 8 chain 1 one more 9 travel crochets with chain 1 between chain 1 and into the next chain 2 space we'll work a double crochet double crochet chain 1 and again into the next shell we'll work 9 treble crochets we chain 1 between then we'll chain 1 double crochet into the next chain 2 space chain 1 and again 9 treble crochets with chain 1 between and so on double crochet into the last chain 2 space chain 1 and to finish we will slip stitch into the fourth chain chain 1 and we can cut our thread and fasten off this is our small motif now we will work uh, on this last round of single crochets and chain 1 spaces with a purple thread but uh, what I would like you to do now, if you are working on the same as we, uh, as I am, on this you will need 12 these motifs. So I would like you to work on 11 more until this part and then we will work together the last row and we will attach this small motif to the this big one. Uh, as we go. Okay. So make 11 more or a few more and then I will show you how to attach this small motif to the big one and then we are done with this project. So we made it our 12 small motifs and we have two big ones. We will take one small motif and we will attach it this way. So, and the next one will go here, like that, and then around. So, we will start with the first, and we have to attach our purple thread. Again, we will attach it in one of the chain one spaces, pull the yarn through. chain 1 and single crochet into the same space then we'll chain 1 single crochet into the next space chain 1 again single crochet into the next chain 1 space chain 1 this is the same as we did in our big motif oh, we'll single crochet in each chain 1 space here where we have our treble crochets and then chain one between one you can leave this tail behind now single crochet into the next chain one space then we'll chain one here we have our chain one then double crochet and chain one and we'll 
single crochet into the first chain one space and then single crochet into the next without any chain one between. Then we'll again chain one, single crochet into the next space, 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 chain one, and here we have one, two, three, four. This is our fifth treble crochet, so we are at the middle of these nine treble crochets, and now we'll attach this to the big motif. So we'll turn back sides together and if we uh, look here at our big motif again we have nine treble crochets in this shell with a chain one and we'll slip stitch on top of the fifth treble crochet so one two three four five on top of the fifth we have this chain one space we will put our hook into the chain one space and we'll slip stitch like that. Then we'll chain one and we'll go to our small motif and single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet into the next space, chain one, single crochet into the next space, chain one, single crochet into the next space, chain one, again we have chain one, double crochet and chain one and we'll work single crochet into the first chain one space then single crochet into the next chain one space now we'll again chain one single crochet into the next space 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 again one two three four this is our fifth travel crochet of this group. Now we'll chain one, we'll go to the next uh, to our big motif and again we'll work into the chain one space above the fifth treble crochet in this how we should say a fan. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll put our hook into the chain one space, then we'll slip stitch it, chain one, and again we'll work into our small motif. Single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet into the next space. Chain one, single crochet into the next space. Chain one, single crochet into the next space chain one and again chain one double crochet chain one and we'll single crochet into the first chain one space then single crochet into the next chain one space and then we'll chain one and again we'll work and we have attached our small and our big motif together here with a slip stitch in uh, the chain one space above the fifth uh, treble crochet. So we have here one, two, three, four, five, and here one, two, three, four, five. So now we will continue as we did here. We'll single crochet in each chain one space between the treble crochets and chain one uh, between, and here where we have our chain one space, then double crochet chain one, we will work single crochet into the first chain one space and then single crochet into the next space and then we'll chain one and continue. We will end this with a here single crochet in this uh, chain one space then we'll chain one and slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made and we can chain one, cut our thread and fasten off. chain one, slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made, now we can chain one, cut our thread and fasten off. 
and we attached our first motif. Okay. Now we start on our second, as we did before. We'll attach a thread into one of the chain one spaces and then we'll attach a new motif one time here, then here and on our big motif here and here. So here we did uh, join the on two places and now we'll this one motif joined four times. So two times with a small motif and then two times on our big motif. So we'll pull our thread through. Chain one, single crochet into the same space to secure this thread. Then we'll chain one, and again we'll single crochet in each chain one space, and we'll work a chain one between these single crochets. Okay, here we'll work a single crochet into the first space and then single crochet into the next. Chain one, single crochet into the next space, chain one, single crochet into the next, chain one, here we have one, two, three, four, and now we are on top of the fifth treble crochet, we will chain one. We will take our small motif again back side towards each other. Yeah. We will put our hook into the chain one space above the fifth treble crochet of this fan. So one, two, three, four, five. Here we have our chain one space. Pull the yarn through and make a slip stitch. Chain one, and again we'll single crochet in our current mo motif. Chain one, crochet into the next space. Chain one, that as we did before. Single crochet, then single crochet into the next space. Chain one single crochet into the next space, chain one, so on. Here we have one, two, three, four, this is our fifth treble crochet, so we need to join again. So one, two, three, four, five, on top of the fifth is chain one space, and we will attach this into it chain one and again we'll work in our current motif single crochet into the next chain one space chain one single crochet into the next space chain one again single crochet into the next space single crochet into the next space and then chain one single crochet into the next space okay so we attach this small motif here one time and then second and now we will attach this big motif and if you look we started crocheting this way this way and we start uh, joining these motifs in one second 
a fan from the big motif so that we have joined it the first time and then the second time and now we will join here with our big motif so this is one two this is our third so chain one single crochet into the next space chain one single crochet into the next space chain one so we have one two three four this is our fifth treble crochet we will take our big motif and we have one two three four five treble crochets on top of it it's a chain one one two three four five it's a chain one space we'll slip stitch it and then chain one and we'll work on our current motif single crochet then chain one single crochet into the next space chain one single crochet into the next space chain one single crochet into the next space chain one then we'll single crochet into the next space single crochet into the next space and then chain one so we need to join this small motif to the big with one more slip stitch we have two three four one, two, three, four, again, okay. Again, we will count this. One, two, three, four, five. On top of the fifth treble crochet, we will join with a slip stitch, chain one, and we will continue in our current motif. Single crochet into the next space, chain one, single crochet into the next space, chain one, and so on. Well, now we have joined our motifs on four places and this is first, second motif. The same way you will work three more motifs. So we will have five motifs around this big one. So then third, fourth and fifth. And at the sixth we will join uh, our next big motif. So I will show you how we will work on that. Okay, so we have joined our five small motifs and what will you do now? With the sixth motif, here is our sixth, we will join first small motif, then here uh, this big motif and then you will leave two empty and here we will join our next big motif like that. so first we go here then we will join our current big motif motif here, leave two empty and here we will attach our next big motif hope that makes sense So, and again we will attach our thread into the chain one space Single crochet chain one single crochet into the next space this is the same way as we did before nothing new
one more I will chain one and we will start our uh, joining so as I said first the small motif back side to each other one two three four into the fifth in the chain space above the fifth treble crochet we will join with a slip stitch chain one and we work again in our small motif chain one, the second join, so two, four, into the fifth, chain one, again we work in our small motif, Two, four, chain one. Now we will join with our first big motif. Three, four, five, chain one. Again, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, and so on. one we'll join the second time one two three four on top of the fifth treble crochet Now if you remember I said uh, two of these peaks have to remain empty so there will be no joint there this was sorry this was our first one and the second So basically what we did we did these two empty peaks here will be our next big motif and here we simply created a space for our next motif okay let's continue 
thread stuck underneath my work, okay? No problem there. So we we'll continue with our work. Two, four, so chain one. And now we'll join our next big motif. So we have our small motif and then back sides to each other. We will again join into the one, two, three, four on top of the fifth travel crochet into the chain one space. We'll join with a slip stitch, chain one, and we'll work in our current small motif as we did before. One, and we will join our second big motif the second time. So two, four, on top of the fifth treble crochet into the chain one space. We we'll work a slip stitch, and again we will work into our small motif. chain one and slip stitch into the first single crochet of this round. Chain one and we can cut our thread. Okay. So now we joined our second big motif to our work. So now we will attach a motif number seven and this one will be attached here here to our second motif then two times in our small motif and two times in our first big motif and then we will continue normal as we did before so the next motif will be here if I move this a little bit, so this is our seven motif. This is our next, like that. The next one here, and just continue until you will have attached all twelve small motifs. So we have six so far. This is seven, eight, nine, and then. You'll just go around this second big motif. Okay, and this is how it should look like. So we have our first big motif, then our three, four, five small motifs. Here we go, sixth and seven, and then we just work our way around. The motif number eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So, hope you like this tutorial. The finished piece is beautiful and I just love it. So, again, if you're first time here, please subscribe to my channel. So and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss any of my next video tutorials. And of course you are more than welcome to comment, like and share this video. So till the next time, enjoy crocheting, hope your project turn out beautiful, 
Oh, uh, and I would love love to uh, know uh, which color did you pick for this project? Are you working in a solid color or what variation of colors? So, till the next time, enjoy crocheting and uh, be safe.